episode 11. If it passes, that will be the end of our glorious trail. It's been seven months hard work. Um, I certainly hope it doesn't pass. <laughs> let's hope it does pass. Um, so let's get out there and do those few jobs before the weather turns and it starts to pour down because we've got to do these jobs. Now this here is the window sealant. What we're going to do is snip that top off. And it has to go all the way inside this gap here. There we are, that's all done now. So now we have to put the ceiling strip in. We just need to wipe around it now with a cloth to get the excess bits off. Now we have the job of replacing the uh, number plates. So this is fairly simple to get the screw holes in the right place. Just put this over the top of that and go for it. It's all a brand moment, even in the rain. 
Well, we're in amazing panic at the moment because uh, there's an hour to go and I suddenly realised the windscreen wipers weren't, well, the windscreen washer wasn't working. Uh, it was broken. If you remember when I was pulling it off, it came apart. So I've had to go and try and buy a new one. It's the wrong one, but we're going to try and make it fit. Right, so the pipes connect up. Now before we try and connect it to the car, let's just see if it works, eh? Well, the sad news is that uh, the windscreen wiper motor won't fit, won't work. So I'm going to have to order a new one. That means the MOT, which was for two o'clock, is off till next week. Disappointing, but hey, next week we'll do it. There is only one way to deal with failure, and that's food. So we're going to have some dinner now. Hello, good evening. Welcome to uh, My Dad Loves Jags. It's kind of a sad time, but a happy time, because I know there'll be no more programs now, because my Jaguar that I've been working on for seven months passed the MOT. Ha! Ha 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 ha! Look at that. That is an MOT for one year. Perfect. Jaguar's perfect. Can you not get an MOT for 10 years? First of all, when I went to see him, this is the form he was showing me. He said, your headlights are not straight and your front screen's a bit dirty. And I thought, whoa, he's had it. Nothing else at all. Anyway, he disappeared into the back room and then he came back with this. So I gave him four pounds as a tip. But that's it, I'm afraid. It's the end of My Dad Loves Jags. But it's nice to go out on a happy note. Let's just look back on the fun that we've had with this Jaguar. Mm -hmm.